There are a lot of campaign statuses inside of Google Ads, but there's one that I hear over and over again businesses have a misunderstanding of, and that's bid strategy learning. In this week's video, I wanna share with you what bid strategy learning is, whether or not you should be afraid of it, and what you can do in the future to avoid it if that's your choice. If we haven't met yet, my name's Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach, and the purpose of this channel is to help you make more and spend less in your online marketing. And before we dive in, make sure to grab my free PPC cost-cutting cheat sheet. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet, or I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, so there are a lot of campaign statuses in Google Ads. You've got eligible not eligible, paused, ended. But there's one in particular that a lot of businesses have a misunderstanding of, and that's bid strategy learning. I'm not gonna make you wait to find out what bid strategy learning is. Essentially, if you're running a campaign and you're leveraging automated bidding and you make a significant change to that campaign, typically around the bid strategy, it can force the system to enter a new learning period. Now, a lot of businesses are fearful of this learning period because if you've been driving consistent results in a campaign and it enters a learning period, there's a chance that for that learning period, you're actually going to see lower results. Now, most of the time, this is only going to be for a short period, typically a week, but it can vary based on how many conversions your account gets and how big your budget is and how many conversions you get during that period. So for example, if you are a large e-commerce store and you're entering the bid strategy learning phase, you know that might only be a couple of days. But if you're a mom and pop shop and you don't get a lot of conversions, that could be well over one week. Now, when you enter the bid strategy learning phase after a couple of days, you can actually hover your mouse over that status in Google Ads, and it will give you an estimate of how many days you have remaining with the learning status. Okay, so let me give you an example of how you could accidentally enter this learning period. So let's say you've had a performance max campaign running for a while, and the current return on ad spend for that campaign is set to 400%. You wake up one day and you think to yourself, hey, I want better performance in this campaign. So let me, instead of having a 400% return on ad spend, let me set this to a 800% return on ad spend. Well, a change of that magnitude could force Google system to relearn how it's bidding, the placements that it's showing on in order to achieve that new return on ad spend that you set. So let's say that you made that change. Well, for the next week, you might not have a 400% return on ad spend like you've been getting. You might actually see something worse. You might see something like a 200% return on ad spend while the system is attempting to achieve that 800% that you just set. So the quick summary is if you enter a learning period, typically you'll experience worse results as Google is attempting to achieve that new performance target and its AI and machine learning is having to learn a lot of new signals and how to bid differently and a lot of things behind the scenes. So on Google's help page, they list three reasons why a campaign might enter the learning phase. It might be the result of a new bid strategy, a setting change, or even a composition change to the campaign. So for example, maybe you've added a lot more keywords or you've changed the match types of a keyword drastically. That could force the campaign to enter this learning phase. Now, I don't want you to panic because most campaigns at some point in time will enter this learning phase, especially if you've made a drastic change. But if you want to do everything that you can to avoid having a campaign go into a learning mode, there is something that you can do. Typically, what I recommend is that with any significant changes to the campaign, don't change anything more than 10%. So in other words, you have to be very steady and incremental with the changes that you're making to a campaign. So let me give you an example. So using that 400% return on ad spend example from before, instead of leaping it up all the way to 800%, what you could do is you could change it from 400 to 440 one week, allow the system to react, go from 440 to 480 the next week, and you can incrementally hop in your effort to get to that 800% return on ad spend. The same goes with the quantity of keywords and the different match types. Don't make any drastic changes that would go above 10% of the campaign's composition. So in summary, bid strategy learning will typically occur if you've made a significant change to a campaign that's using automated bidding inside of Google Ads. During this learning period, you'll typically see worse results than before while the system tries to learn and, and catch up to the new performance target that you've set. 
The length of the learning period can depend based on several factors like how big your budget is, how many conversions you get, and how big the change that you made was. But for most advertisers, the over-under is about a week. If you want to do everything that you can to avoid having the campaign enter this learning period, my recommendation is to not make any change to the campaign that would impact 10% of it or more. So for example, if you have a campaign set up and the target return on ad spend is set to 400%, don't make a leap from something like 400% to 800%. You need to make incremental changes. So the first one that I'd recommend would be to go from 400 to 440% or something along those lines. Hey, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, could you do me a favor? Could you like this video and subscribe to my channel to give me a little momentum in YouTube's algorithm? Take care.